It finally happened. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna be talking about a huge event in terms of collecting, just something that a lot of people thought would never happen. And it finally did happen. What we're gonna be talking about is the Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw from Rage of Raw getting graded a PSA 10. So, Rage of Raw came out in 2020. It released the first Ghost Rare in the TCG since 2015. There were none in the TCG in that entire span. They completely quit printing them in the TCG. A lot of people thought we'd never get them back. So when they announced we were getting the Winged Dragon of Raw in Ghost Rare form, it was super hype. Everyone was super excited. We all get our boxes. We get our cases. We're opening them up. We're pulling the Ghost Rares. They're scratched. They're destroyed. They have not just print lines. They got like diagonal scratches. They look like uh, a, a cat just came over to scratch the surface. They just looked terrible. And it was like, well, maybe it was a one-time occurrence. Maybe it's just a few of them. Almost all of them had the scratches. It was so disappointing. A lot of people were super mad because they bought their entire case. They pulled their Winged Dragon of Raw and it was in terrible condition. It was like light play. It was like mod play right out of the pack. Since then, 110 of them have been graded. So it's a new card. There's a lot of them available on the market, a lot to grade. Usually what that means is a new card. Uh, you get the card, a bunch of them are graded. The first couple sales are really high and they usually come down because you get, you know, a couple tens at the beginning and then it's like way more tens as they get graded, you know, because they're new cards. They're not that hard to grade. Not the case with the raw. As we've mentioned, it was crazy scratched. Uh, 110 have been graded now. 110 in one year. You would not believe the numbers, so I'm going to read them off to you. PSA 6s, 1. Okay, just one of those. Not a big deal. Maybe somebody bent it on the way. 7s, 35. A new card has 35 sevens. That's just weird. Is that not weird? Now wait for this. 68. These are probably right out of the pack. People got them and like, I'm going to grade them, see what I can get. And they got an 8. 13 nines. Only 13 nines out of 110 graded. You guys... That's insane. You're grading like 10% of the time you're getting it you're getting a 9. 10% of the time. And other than that it's worse, which is just crazy. Just this week a PSA 10 was graded by a member of my channel. If you want to become a member and have access to the Discord box breaks um, discounts, then check out the link down below. Graded one and he sent me the video. I'm going to show you guys the unboxing video him opening it up getting a PSA 10. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. So we got this box back from PSA today and I really wished to share its content with the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. First of all, a big shout out to Roxin34, the man, the myth, the legend. If you have not subscribed to him yet, I really recommend you to do so. Uh, it's by watching Roxin's videos that I got back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. So uh, Two weeks ago around, I bought some boxes, booster boxes of Rage of Ra. Uh, I really wanted to pull a Ghost Rare uh, Winged Dragon of Ra or a 10,000 Dragon, but uh, we got lucky here. We, uh, I pulled a, uh, a Ghost Rare Winged Dragon of Ra. I think the grade is here. Yeah. So uh, it was beautiful. No print lines. Uh, the centering was okay as well. The corner is beautiful, no waxy on the back. So we submitted it to, uh, I submitted it to uh, PSA. And I'm happy to, uh, to see that it's a Gem Mint 10. So it's the first uh, Gem Mint 10 uh, of the uh, Ghost Rare. Uh, first edition Winged Dragon of Raw graded in the world. And, uh, I really want to thank again Ruxin34 for you know inspiring me uh, and so many of us to come back into the game to uh, find this nostalgia from our childhood and to continue um, collecting and playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't realize that Hal actually talked in his video. I thought he just opened it up and showed us. So I didn't mention that in the video, but I appreciate all the kind words, man. You're awesome. These cards are so hard to grade. If you guys see these numbers, I've never seen grading numbers like this for a Yu-Gi-Oh card. 68 versus 110 and 139s. It's just, it's weird. 35 sevens. Guys, seven is a terrible grade. It says near mint on there, but usually it takes quite a bit to get you to a PSA seven. So that's just insane. It's insane. The first question a lot of people ask, what is the value of this thing? What's the value of a PSA 10? It's a newer card, but you can't actually grade it a 10. People have tried it 110 times and done it once. I get asked to value cards a lot. And when it gets to this kind of 
card where there's a it's a pop one and there's just not much sales data there is no price basically he can ask whatever he wants for it and if someone's willing to pay it that's all you, that's the price that's the only price there's no like price for this kind of card because there's only one right now if someone were to grade another one then maybe it would change but I don't even know when that's going to happen. I figure it will eventually probably happen because if we got one, we'll probably get two, maybe three, you know, whatever. But it's still insanely hard to grade this card. So it's going to be quite valuable being a god card, being a ghost rare, being extremely difficult to grade one per case. You know, all that stuff brings the value up. And that brings me to another thing I want to bring up for this video. I have not talked about it yet, but in Ghosts from the Past, the ghost rare quality has been garbage. It's been terrible. People have been telling me, I pulled one but it's damaged. I pulled one, but there's foil on the back. I pulled one, but there's scratches. It's even worse than Winged Dragon of Raw, it seems like. The scratches aren't as common, but there's other issues too. Like when Lewis and I pulled one, there was a ding on the corner and scratches. So it was double whammy. It was like two things. So what does this mean? For Ghosts from the Past, there are five different Ghost Rares. Not just one. In in Rage of Raw, you open a case, 99, 90, about like 90, 95% of the time, you get a Ghost Rare, and it's the same one every time. For Ghosts from the Past, as we've seen, you can open a whole case and get zero. And even if you get one, you still have four that you didn't get. That means these cards are going to be extremely exclusive to find in good condition. If you pull them and they're like PSA 10, I'm guessing we don't see a lot of PSA 10s from this. I don't know if it's going to be quite at the Rage of Raw level where you get one out of 110. But even if it's close to that with five different ones, it's gonna be crazy. So if you grade a PSA 10 of one of these, the value is gonna be very strong, especially if it's a Dark Magician, especially if it's a Blue Eyes Alternative and probably BLS. The other two, maybe not as much, but the value is still gonna be crazy. And finally, PSA made a huge announcement today at the time of recording this. You guys will see it tomorrow. They said that they're gonna be using this it's like technology to assist them in grading now. So it's no longer just humans. They're implementing this right away, they said, according to what I've read. So, you know, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But I believe they said they're implementing this as soon as they can get their hands on it or whatever. They just bought the company. And it basically is, it can give you like scores for centering, surface, um, edges, corners, all that stuff, just by imp like taking a picture of the card. So when we get things like these really difficult cards to grade and there's a computer grading them, it's not going to be easier than if a human's graded. I'm guessing it'll be harder. So getting a 10 and like a, a raw might be even harder than before, which was one out of 110. So if we have a computer grading it at PSA now, you know, it's only assisting them right now, apparently for now. So we'll see how that turns out. But if it gets even harder to grade cards and it's already impossible to grade these ghost rares that are in terrible condition, if you do get a 10 on one of these, don't sell it for cheap. I'm just saying, don't sell it for cheap. Put it up on eBay for like a lot and then see what kind of offers you get, something like that. Or keep it, because it's just gonna be a very exclusive card. Because if you're collecting and you wanna collect these ghost rares in 10, good luck. It's gonna be really tough. So yeah, we covered a few different topics. We have the Wing Dragon of Raw, insanely hard to grade, was graded, insane by a viewer of the channel, which was really awesome. Then the new Ghost from the Past. They're extremely hard to grade. And let's just throw this in there. We're doing a live stream this weekend with Ghosts from the Past, and hopefully we will pull at least a Ghost Rare. Hopefully a couple of Ghost Rares or three or four or five. Who knows? But yes, those Ghost Rares are going to be in bad condition most likely, which is really crazy. It's frustrating if you pull one, but it's extremely awesome if you pull one in great condition. So it's like, it makes it even more emotional when you pull one. You're either more excited or you're furious, you know, one of the two. And finally, the PSA changes are just crazy. Uh, keep an eye out for that computer grading or whatever it is. It's going to be nuts. Uh, the centering, I feel like they should never miss centering again now. It's like they can literally take a pic, like the, the computer will do it. It'll do exactly what the, you know, the distance is. So there should be no mistakes in centering in the future. We'll see if that's the truth or not. I'm sure there will always be mistakes if there's humans involved. So if there's partial humans, maybe they'll enter it wrong or something like that, you know, whenever they have to do it. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I believe tomorrow we're doing the pack battle with the first edition packs and other awesome stuff. So this is going to be pretty sweet and hopefully we'll pull something big. Also check out the Pharaoh Servant first edition box opening that we did live yesterday at the time of, vid of this video. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that.
Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh, God. <laughs> 